Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I thought I'd look, give you a little rundown on the chain of events here. Um, some of you might remember I did a radio show about, I don't know, eight or nine days ago or whatever, um, with uh, the story of uh, the new Bethany's girls' home. And then about six days ago, this paste bin was put out, uh, the plea to anonymous from survivors of New Bethany's girls' home, Mac W. Ford. That's had of, uh, a little over 1,100 hits so far. And then there was this. Expect gloves off. The plea has been heard. Expect hell. Good Lord. And then shortly after that, there will zero fucks given. No fucks are going to be given. None. Not one. Oh, I'll link you to this paste bin, by the way, so you can share that as well. And then this, an offshoot of the Op Liberation Movement, uh, has been formed, Op Faith-Based Fear. This is targeting specifically institutions that house and abuse children, uh with a religious basis. You know, Op Liberation is fighting for the troubled teen industry in general, but a, a large portion of those institutions are faith-based and fear-based, fear-faith. You know the you know the deal. Yeah, so um, many people that supported Op Liberation also support this, and others have joined in, and the team is now working on Op Faith-based fear. And... This nice-looking character right here, Dr. Doom. Isn't he a nice-looking guy? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of helping coordinate some things, and that's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I'm on the same side as this guy. Holy goodness. Good Lord. And you can see, oh, Mac Ford, we are coming. So evidently the first target in these religious... Um, institutions is the new Bethany's girls home because justice is long overdue and there is a large list of um, trust me <laughs> but the first exposure I should say not the first one to be targeted but the first one to be exposed that would be a more correct statement I guess is going to be you Mac Ford and anybody like you uh, in your institution um, so I'm going to link you to this guy so you can come over here minute by minute and find out what's going on. Make sure you click the all so you don't just get the old stuff or the or the busiest stuff. Um, so there we are. Op faith-based fear. For any of you that want to help out a little bit, you know, you can go over here and you can, whatever, you know what to do. Um, this is the list that some are working on. And, uh, you know, you could research that a little bit. Or whatever you can do, you know. Um, share that information with me or, or Dr. Doom or, or whoever the hell you want. <laughs> Who am I to tell you how to do it? And, you know, maybe you could tweet out things. This is one thing I tweeted out earlier. I'll link you to this in case you just want to tweet it back out. You can see a couple of tweets and four likes. Um... Mac W. Ford has no fucking idea of how fucked he is. First, a group not affiliated with Anonymous has launched a campaign to reach more survivors, which should lead to more possible charges of abuse, etc. Second, our wonderful Anon family, many of whom support Op Liberation, and many do now, have launched Op Faith-Based Fear, which targets religious-based abuse of kids in group homes, etc., it seems from recent tweets that the new Bethany's girls' home will be the first target and justice is coming via the internet to Mac Ford. Some of these people I think I know. Many more I do not, but I love them. Uh, am I anonymous? No. Can you be? Uh, and for the sake of justice and for future protection of our children, I pray you will. Oh, and by the way, the word on the interwebs is that zero fucks will be given to Mac Ford and anyone like him. Expect us. So, that's just what I did. You don't have to do that. I'll link you to it in case you want to go tweet it and like it. That's fine. Uh, but type up your own. Do something, you know. Help these kids out. And uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated. Please take part in this 
And one thing I got to say that a big part of this operation um, is also as far as and especially and I think this applies to all institutions but especially with the beginning in the New Bethany there are many other girls uh, and young men that were affected by this and we need to find them uh, on the social networks and we need to help overcome the fear that was instilled in them we have to let them know that we got their back and that it's okay to tell their story and that we need them to tell their story because the more stories that come out the more protection for everybody and and I know that those girls were friends I've communicated with many of them and they're friends like nobody's friends they are so we gotta support them and um, and hey you know guys survivors of New Bethany people that were affected by this don't let this guy right here fool you this is face is only that way in the face of evil okay <laughs> uh, obviously if we didn't love you we wouldn't be doing this and we do love you so anyway to everybody else much love many thanks and um, well yeah I guess uh, Mac 4 would be a good idea to expect this